Hi, welcome to the video of my 1973 Jeans Crew Cab. As you can see, it's all painted in Merino Gel, which is the same colour as the Jeans Beetles. I had a limited edition Jeans Beetle. It was created in the 70s, in the 73, 74. So it was important that if I want, they never made a Jeans Bus. So it was important that if I wanted to make a Jeans Bus, it had to be the right year. And they were made with the Tunis Gelb and the Merino Gelb paint, black bumpers and trim, and this jeans logo. So, let's have a quick walk around the van. Nice touch that, you wouldn't think it, but very, very rare mirrors. I only found one set for sale in the world anywhere, and they were in Ireland, so I had those imported for the black trim. It's had a King of Link pin conversion, narrow beam. Four inch narrow beam. It's also had it's also had um, all new suspension all round. Every bush has been done. Uh, all the rods are perfect. It's had um, new shocks, custom Bilstein shocks. It's had Brazilian drop spindles. So basically, and the chassis has been notched as well. So even though it runs exceedingly low, it runs as if it's almost like standard ride height. Very, very compliant. We have a look inside. This is where it's a bit special. All denim interior. So you can see the magazine at the front cover of the famous Volkswagen. They did a big spread on it, as well as a centre cover. Yep. Big, big, big spread on it. But it's all denim interior. Many pairs of jeans cut and patchworked together to make a unique interior with the traditional black carpet. They've got a very expensive Jeanberg shifter as well as having had new linkage bushes. Headlines in good condition. And it's got curtains as well, so if you want to zip off the cab, you can. As you can see, all well, the door shuts are good. Nothing's protruding as it should be. The drop gates are in superb condition. This is where they normally go. As you can see, all the hinges are good. They're not long out of the paint shop, so the paint's in good condition. As you can see, very straight. As we come to the rear, again, the old jeans crew. Now this, the jeans logo is exactly the same, apart from obviously it says crew, but this is exactly the same logo as they fitted to the Jeans Beetle. And there's a guy, Andy Gore, who runs the Jeans Beetle register. Uh, and he cut them specially bespoke for the van based on the original graphics. So they're, they're one off. Obviously Jeans Crew, because it's a crew cab. And on here we have the crew. And here we have a, a famous, infamous, should I say, artist from our scene who's drawn the... the the crew cab with the pair of jeans flying out the back. It will come off if you don't want it on, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's a Paraguay import, so it's very, very dry, as you can see. Um, if you just open this up, it's all color coded in there to show the brand new. I think you can see it in there, but uh, I think you can get some light. But it's a uh, 1761. Sorry, sorry, 1641, brand spanking new engine. 009 distributor, equalizer pulley, and it's got the twin carbs you see in there back there. Sorry, my torch is flashing a little bit there. But it's a beautiful condition, runs lovely. Absolutely sweet as a nut, as it should do. Brand new. Those carbs will keep you sucking. Again, around the back, you see the black bumper trim. If we go around the other side, equally as straight and as good condition. As you can see, new Cosmics with new tyres. Van's pretty much new. <laughs> Obviously, it's a 45 year old vehicle, so you need to expect some slight imperfections, but as you can see, it's absolutely tip top. 
and the crew cabs are very rare. You know, there's lots of double cabs around, but the dub, but, sorry, lots of single cabs, but the crew cab is very, very rare. Now it's getting getting rarer by the minute. Once upon a time, they're everywhere, as you can see from the rear. All colour coded and trimmed out as well. No kinks or anything on the roof. It's a mega, mega clean bus. Very, very cool indeed. With it comes all the paperwork. I've got original import certificates. Um, just absolutely loads of paperwork coming out of its backside. <laughs> it really is a very, very cool, very, very genuine old crew cab. Nice little touch here as well. The late Euro style lens, tinted lens, which we had to modify the bowls to get to fit. It's got loads and loads and loads of little touches this van. Probably forgotten more than I've gone on about, but. Anyway, hope you like it. Any questions? Give me a shout.